Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lauren. I'm a homeschooling mom of two little girls. Kaylee is four and Sydney is two. Today I'm gonna show you our morning binders or learning binders. They're called many different things. I have a toddler learning binder for my two-year-old that is in tot school or preschool. And I actually have two binders for my four-year-old who is in first grade. And I'll show you what all of those, all of these, I'll show you what all of these binders look like in just a second and why she has two binders. One of them we use daily and the other one is just for fun, basically an additional practice. A lot of these I made last year and I had a situation with my MacBook Pro and I lost a lot of my download information. So some of these exact links, I probably won't be able to find but I will put the main website there. Some of them are also from subscribers list too, but the majority of these are free printables. There's so many options, but a lot of these things I have in here are fall themed. It's really fun to make, but it is time consuming because it's a lot of laminating, but once it's made, it can be played with forever. So the majority of the activities I have in my toddler's binder, my four-year-old also wants to play with. So even though she's not needing the practice she still likes to just move the colors around and things like that so it can definitely be used beyond just when they're learning it it's just really fun to play with the girls love the velcro and all of the bright pretty colors and all the little faces on the shapes it's just really cute so let's jump into this and i'm going to show you what we have going on with both of the girls binders so i have a lot to show you guys so i'm going to be showing you sydney's toddler learning binder first then I'm going to show you the daily learning notebook for elementary, which is for my first grader, Kaylee, Kaylee's learning binder. That's the order. So here's Sydney's toddler learning binder. Also want to mention, I have a lot of things in here. This is a lot. This is a one and a half inch binder. So it's a lot of things. It's not necessary to have this much. Honestly, all of them have a lot of things in it, but we don't do all of these every day either. Some days we don't even use the binder. I just wanted to mention that because there's a lot in here. First thing I have is one of these zip pencil pouches. I do have the weather pieces in here for her and I don't have a dry erase marker in here, but that's where I would keep that. And this is just for her to trace her name. And then this is just an extra page I have of, with her name on it as well. I'm just covering up um, her full name. I have her first, middle and last name. Again, for tracing, I made that. And then on this page, this is from totschooling.net, I wrote her name here. And I also wrote the letters of her name as well on these little flowers and she can spell out her name. And this I got from Confessions of a Homeschooler. So this is what's the weather like. So she'll pick out sunny, whatever day of the week it is and place that on here. And that's what these pieces are for. And I have a couple options for the month and day of the week. So she can obviously trace that, circle whatever number we have, and then count, you know, circle the number. So an easy way for her to be involved with circle time. And this also has all of the months. I just kind of rotate that and I do keep them all in here. And this one here is this reading mama. And then this one is one from last year from Kaylee. Same idea. I know that there's probably going to be an updated one with this because it has 20 and 21. And I believe this one was Pinterest. And then of course this is the weather again and I feel and then she can circle that. And this was another one that was Pinterest and use the really large size I advise you to use the small circles but I wanted that to be colorful because the bottom part is all gray and I, since it was the large circles I only have one on there I do want to go back and remake this and do the smaller velcro dots we have days of the week she's mainly kind of singing the song we don't even pull this out every day I also have months of the year and same thing they are gray on the bottom and she's just kind of recognizing the word um, we're not so much into that right now i'm just kind of looking at the month that we are currently in with her and this was another one i had from kaylee i believe this one was on pinterest as well i did lose a lot of the links that i had saved when i had an issue with my macbook and had to reset the whole thing i have a video on that too but i did lose a lot of links but if i can find them i will link them down below for you and this one is just colors. She loves this one. 
see I love the small dots. So it has the name and then of course the color. So we pull all of these off and put them all back on. This is probably her favorite page right now. I did redo it if you saw my homeschool routine from like last, last year, I think it was December. Sydney was playing with this. It all just had the words on it and what she was matching word to word, but now she's matching just the color. She also had bent a lot of the pieces up, but so yeah, I redid this one and this was preschoolmom.com. And this one is a totschooling.net. It's brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? So she's matching colors again. I would definitely do the smaller dots, but that's what I had when I first started making them and I was on a roll. So I recommend the small Velcro dots, but this was a totschooling.net find as well with the colors. And this is totschooling.net again as well. And she is just sorting by color. <laughs> I mean, hey, they're all green. They're just not in the right spot. She loves leaves. If we're outside anywhere, she's collecting leaves. So we have this for her. She also loves all these little hats. This is another find on totschooling.net. Totschooling.net has a ton of these printables, guys. A ton. And there's a lot of little penguin hats. So she loves this as well. And moving from colors into shapes, we have pumpkin shape matching. So she can also pull all of these off and we can just kind of go through the shapes but the little faces are just adorable. Pumpkin shape matching, perfect for fall. And I also have these shapes as well. This was an older one that I had done, preschoolmom.com. And this, I think I found on Pinterest. This is typicallysimple.com, but I'm pretty sure I actually found it originally on Pinterest, but there's a lot of activities that you can do with this. Any kind of little shape manipulatives that you have, um, same thing with this one. I believe it's the same website. You can do a lot of things with this. They could also trace them. I also have all of these letters. You could pull all of these off. She could match them here or she could also match uppercase to lowercase, things like that or vice versa. So she could pull all of these off and kind of match. So A, lowercase a, where is its match? And so she could do something like that. Or we could pull a few off and just do like one row and kind of match these. So, so many activities that you can do with the alphabet with these. Of course, letter sounds too, but yeah, I have a lot of alphabet just printables here. And this is a totschooling.net as well. So this one is like the beginning letter. So she would look at this and say, C, C says, K, and she would find the cow and she also loves animals so so much she'd probably say moo as well that was a totschooling.net and I, this is also a, just another alphabet this is for tracing i had this one in here for kaylee i have uppercase and lowercase together this is more for just recognizing this is the uppercase and lowercase m and you know looking through the whole alphabet side by side together for tracing as well and then one through 20. I'm honestly not sure where I got that from. I've had that in here for a very long time. I'm sure it was an old download. And this handwriting card is from the Good and the Beautiful Math K. It has one through six and seven through 10 on the back as well as emergency numbers. There's seven, eight, nine, and then 10 and then emergency numbers here. And then this is accounting one through 10. Um, Kayla used these for tracing. So you could also cut them out, but Kayla used these for tracing one through 10 on the apples because she loves apples. And then here I have placed the correct amount of apples in the tree. So in the back of this one, I have my little bag of apples because this is just a sheet protector. And I did not do Velcro dots on these because that's obviously a giveaway. If there's like two Velcro dots here, it's gonna tell her to place two there. So I just laminated them, but I didn't put Velcro on them. So she'll place two here and so on for all of the trees. I don't think I mentioned it, but this is from thisreadingmama.com. And this one is totschooling.net. And then this one is just a number matching so you pull all of the ice cream pieces off and they would be like one one to count and match and this is from 
it's upside down actually it looks like from how I have it placed in the binder but it's from the ultimate kindergarten prep guide that I've mentioned before in my Amazon homeschool favorites video so that is where this is from I like how it has you know one through five and then the six through ten row the colors match and then this one is from totschooling.net just some pre-writing practice I have this in here for Kaylee and this is something else from well it's from Autumn McKay but it, this one's the ultimate toddler activity guide just some tracing shapes practice so that was the toddler activity guide. This is the ultimate kindergarten prep guide again. And also in those books, the appendix, these pages that I got them from, you can actually pull them up online and just print them off like I did here. You don't have to rip them out of the book. So these are just some opposites and continued on this side. And then here, this is totschooling.net. These are more simple shadow matching, kind of paying more attention to detail. And it's just the cutest, them all holding the little heart. And this was the totschooling.net Valentine kit that they have for subscribers. So once you subscribe, you can see all of their kits. And that's where I got the majority of the things from totschooling.net. And we also have more leaves. This is more difficult for her. She honestly likes to play with them. And this is another shape one for animals. You know, I said she loves animals. So we have the pig, the leaves and the animal shadow matching are more difficult for her right now but Kaylee loves to jump in and help her and of course make the animal sounds again with her too and then this one is another totschooling.net I'm telling you guys just go to that website you will get a lot of free printables we just pulled one of these Kaylee has more in her binder but this one is the itsy bitsy spider which one happened first second third and fourth that's everything for Sydney's binder and next I'm going to show you Kaylee's daily learning notebook. This one I did purchase from Erica at Confessions of a Homeschooler. She has her pencil pouch here and we have stickers which we use on the calendar and she also has a dry erase pen in here. The Expo Ultrafine is my favorite when she's actually trying to trace and write precisely. So we have that in there. So I definitely mix up the pages. I want to say that first as well. We mix up the pages. So this is not like page one of the Confessions of a Homeschooler printable. I did purchase this. I believe it was around $5. And this is the elementary My Learning Notebook. So I like that we'll be able to use it for years. I know the preschool or pre-K or kindergarten. I think those are updated for every year. So I did not purchase one for Sydney yet. And they also have more pages, but this one's the elementary one and you can definitely use it year after year. So I wrote this here, but they're not dated or anything. So you can continue to use it and print it. She likes to circle and exit. We use this every day and of course record the weather. And then this is what she uses those stickers for is she fills out how many days of school and then here I just added this in this is something that we have changed already and I'm gonna have a video about that probably next week so we actually added a spelling curriculum we're using Evan Moore spelling grade one but I'm actually kind of doing an assessment with her and just going through the good and the beautiful list so far so I'm just writing some here and she's gonna practice them but I really like that curriculum so I'll, I'll talk more about that in my updated changes video but we're going to be doing this every morning as well so we do this page this page and this page is i added from the evan moore so this one is not included in that confessions of a homeschooler printable but this is so if you can see i jump from page 12 to page 10 to my own edition to page 5 so i definitely have adjusted because I don't have her go through this every single day. When we do, it's here. We also got a thermometer so they can check the temperature in the morning and then she likes to draw the outfit, it's so cute. As well as doing what time is it, how much money for the date, tally mark practice. I love this, that they can actually write their name every month and you kind of have like the progression. This one's only two weeks apart, but I can't wait until we get like middle of the year to see the progress. There is a blank month here, which is what I have the tab for is the blank one, as well as all of the 
following months. So you get one for every month and that's everything in this notebook. But this one we do pull out every day for these first few pages. So that is my daily learning notebook. I'm gonna make sure I mentioned that this is separate in my own edition, this one page, but everything else is from Erica with Confessions of a Homeschooler. And this is the elementary one. And this is also in a half inch binder. So it is compact. And now I have Kaylee's learning binder. This is the one that she does more for fun and extra practice, but we do not pull this out all the time. I definitely use the other two binders more than I use this one. So here is Kaylee's name. In the back of hers is the same. It has her first, middle, and last name for her to trace as well. And then here it's the same from totschooling.net. We have her name with all of her little Velcro letters. I did not write her name down here because she's old enough to know how to spell her name. This I believe I found on Pinterest. This is I Can Listen With My Whole Body. This is very helpful when we have those wiggly days where she wants to be very distracting or say her sister's distracting her. Um, I want to say it's Pinterest, but it says SLP Chelsea down here. If I can find it, I will link it for you. I also have the Pledge of Allegiance printed. I actually had a couple of these already printed, but I didn't have it laminated. So I also have a laminated page right underneath of our flag in the schoolroom. That is another update. I had it in my to be laminated pile and I didn't laminate it until a year later. But since she's actually starting to read more words, this is actually going to be more helpful for her this year. So I do have a copy of that in here as well. And this is from abcdeelearning.com. And this is a summer one. She loves the summer. So this is lowercase letter tracing and uppercase letter tracing as well. And this one, write the missing letter. This is just beginning sounds from thisreadingmama.com. And we also have ending sounds from thisreadingmama.com. And typically I wouldn't be laminating each sheet like this, but I did have them separate just with the three rings on them and not in a binder. So I needed them to hold up to just being moved around like that. But I did end up putting them in the binder now but that's why I have them laminated instead of just in sheet protectors because they were like their own book. And she also doesn't like other words to show through from the back. So that's why they're only one per sheet. So if I knew it was going in a binder like this, I would have done this differently. I just wanted to mention that. This is another one from Top Schooling. This is fruit. What does it start with? So she'll kind of say the ah, ah, apple starts with A kind of sound out all the fruits and vegetables. So she loves fruits and vegetables. And this here is from The Good and the Beautiful Math K, just something else from Math K. This is actually from Lesson 34 from the original math. They have a new math out now, Simply Good and Beautiful Math. But this is from the, I guess you'll say the older edition from last year. This is the number spelling chant and they learned the O and E, only one me. So everything kind of rhymes. And that has also helped her learn how to spell her numbers. And this is from Confessions of a Homeschooler. Right now, I do still have them all together as one word. I think later on, I will cut them and make it more difficult for her. But right now, that is what they look like. And this is from Confessions of a Homeschooler. I did also have this separated as well and decided to put it in the binder. This one it says fun early learning. I don't know what website that is. Probably a Pinterest find from last year too. We have all of these cookies and there's a bunch of different options in here for matching. So we have the word, the number, tally, and dice. A bunch of different ways. We also have counting cookies too. So I've had her use those and match the cookies to the other cookies as well four to 10 frames. That's also really fun too. This is from the Ultimate Kindergarten Prep Guide. It's like a number of the week, number word, do the tens frame, one more, one less, and then two before, two after. So this was another one from the appendix. And this is something else from the ABCDE e-learning, the popsicle tracing numbers. So that's also from that summer printable that I had for the letters. 
And here's the hundreds chart from the Good and the Beautiful Math 1. This is the Simply Good and Beautiful Math 1, the new math. And level one is actually able to be printed on their website for free. So I actually didn't make a copy of this. I just pulled it up online and printed this. It was easier than making a copy of our curriculum book. This is the printable part. I just put it on a piece of green cardstock. I have fruit and vegetable, and all the way back here, I have the fruit and vegetables here. I could make a little slit here and kind of have her place them in there, but I just pulled this out so she can divide it up. And then this page is food group sorting, and that's this one right here, these little cards. And she will divide again fruit and vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. And that's totschooling.net as well. I'm pretty sure this is totschooling.net too. Here's another totschooling.net. And this is the world, all of the seven continents. And this is really fun for them. I have a couple of them with the larger Velcro dot because I did this so long ago. But again, I'm going to tell you guys, the smaller ones are much easier to use. They're a lot more user-friendly for things like this, but that's a fun one. And then here, this is another totschooling.net. Again, these are the large ones. I recommend the small ones, but here I have the blue is cardstock. I already cut everything else out. I placed these on the top section on the cardstock when I laminated it. I laminated these separately and cut them and then all of the Velcro dots. So we have all of these shapes and then we have 3D shapes. And it's definitely more challenging when you have all of these off and mixed up. She's flipping around, trying to figure out where they go. So it's, it's more challenging for sure with all of these options. So there's that. And then here, this is the rest of what was in Sydney's binder with the little nursery rhymes. So this is another totschooling.net printable. I have a bunch of different ones in here. They have one, two, three, and four kind of say what happened first, second, third, and fourth. There's all the little pieces that go with that. And then this is my daily chores. This is from the Ultimate Kindergarten Prep Guide. I did have a plan to use this, but now I'm starting to use the chore tokens that I made and I will have to do something separate on that as well. This was a great idea until they just started cleaning up. So I haven't had to utilize this, but. And then here's just a couple of those pieces. And I just have this in a clear protector instead of a whole pencil pouch because this is a lot thicker because of all of these larger Velcro pieces here. So another reason why I recommend these small Velcro pieces, but that is her learning binder. We don't use every binder every single day. We definitely use Sydney's at least a few times a week. And this one we do use every single day for at least these first couple pages. And this is a new edition, like I said, my own edition. And we just started this um, a few days ago. So, and this is sort of discussed when we do circle time. So sort of extra, but I just wanted to show you guys all of the options. But I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.